Crazy Crab. Taking on Cassian today. And what is this? The bird opening of all things? Okay. So we got the bird opening. I think that's what it's called. Not exactly sure. So. I'm just going to play, play D5, try to grab some center. He plays his knight out to F3. This guy's 1880, by the way. So we'll see. Obviously, now he's covering E5. Can't just play E5. Um, I guess. I guess bring the knight out. The bird. The bird. G3. It's freaking freezing, by the way. Uh, where I'm at right now in this room, but we'll see what I can do. Okay, so he is trying to fiend kettle the bishop here, and I guess I want to get this knight, this bishop out before I maybe play e6 or something, so let's just bring... Um, Let's just put it there, I guess. Okay, and the bishop comes out. So he is moving fairly fairly quickly early. I'm not. Okay. As I said, e6. And he plays e3. Probably want to get something else out, but I can't really do it very easily because of this bishop. Like I want to play certain moves. I could play this. I guess I can play knight knight out to f uh, f six. I maybe regret this move because this this pawn is locked in. I'd like to move this pawn forward. So I could just try to reorganize here, move this knight, move this pawn. But then I'm just got a lot of retarded development over here. I'm not able to castle quickly enough. So. I think I'll start with this knight out. It's a more principled move to get the knights out. So he's getting ready to castle, and with that move, I think it, I think I have some time if I want to try this. But man, I'm wasting two moves: one, two, maybe even three if I bring it back. Giving this knight a chance to plop in here. But I kind of just regret this, this setup that I have here. Uh, it's not that it's really bad, but I'd rather have this pawn on c5. Um, getting this bishop out somewhere. And also, if I move this, it's allowing this check. If I play like a6 first, and then I'm then I'm just that's a, yet another move. But I don't think he's going to move this bishop down here. I mean, he's already just moved it right here. He's not going to move here and then here. So let's just do let's just let's just play let's just play this move first. Let's so bishop b7, then we'll see what he does. He's probably going to castle. Yeah, and. I can castle as well. We keep on going back to like the the uh, principal moves. I'm so bothered by this knight here. I shouldn't have maybe played that so early, but I I don't know. I was thinking maybe I was castling queens. I don't know what I was thinking, but the bird opening and he castles over here. I don't know any, really how to play the bird opening or or anything like that. I guess he's how to do it. It's just castle. Like I said, I mean, I keep on going back to the, I mean, he can't do anything against me. I mean, I, I just wanted to have a little better position as black. Okay, place that move. That's interesting. It locks in the, the bishop. I don't know what the point of that was. Because he's not opening anything up. This bishop's already finchettoed. So what was the point of this move? I'm um, not like I was going to any of these squares anyway. I guess I could have come to this square. Or the knight, maybe that's what, it, I guess that's what it was. Uh, 
Hmm. But he weakened this pawn right here, so by that move, this diagonal becomes sorry, this diagonal becomes a little more weak. I can move this bishop up here, but he'll probably just may play that move. And I don't know what the follow would be then. But then that opens up this bishop, and then I, maybe I just move, and maybe that just improves my position, and that's what it's about. I still have this queen taking care of this this knight here. So I think right here, and then, oops, and then I expect d4 to come in. And then maybe just move back, or move somewhere else. Because... He's also locked in his bishop. I like that. So, I mean, because if he plays this, I just move back here. I mean, he's locked in his bishop completely. Yeah, this bishop will get a little more more room, but this is the one that he finquetto. This is the sniper that I that's pointed towards my king side. Yeah, I'm sure enough, he played it. Just trying to predict their moves, you know, is, is big. When I make a move, I want to say, well, what are they going to do? Is that good or bad for me? What can I do in response? And, you know, that was pretty predictable that he was going to play that move. And I think that it improved my position with this bishop now pointing towards this rock. Um, my bishop has a little more flexibility here. This bishop, mm, at least it's not pointing towards my own pawn. It's it's pointing towards one of his pawns. Here it's got some flexibility. So it's pretty good. And by the way, he's also now weak in this, this square and I can that a knight can jump into. And and like I said, just talked about, you know, what is he going to do? Well, he's going to take it probably with that knight or he'll just have to leave it there up in his territory. But if he takes it, I think the bishop can take back. Yeah, and I think that's where even... That's really nice for me. He may not take it, but like I said, if he doesn't take it, then I got a nice little knight here in uh, his territory. So he doesn't take it. He decides to immediately counterpunch and jump into one of my squares. But I do have this pawn still. He doesn't have any pawns here that can that can mess with this uh, knight, where I do have a pawn. I'm not saying I want to move it right now, but I do have it. Um, I can consider just grabbing it. <sighs> He could grab with that pawn. He could grab with either pawn. What if he grabs with the D pawn? Is he helping himself? The thing is, I like this bishop kind of blocked in. He'll still be blocked in either way. There'll still be a pawn duo kind of blocking in this bishop. But if I take with the knight and he takes with the D pawn, I'm going to have to move this piece. I can move it back where it was, where I originally wanted to be, actually. I can move it here, because remember, I was here earlier. I had to move when he played this move, and that's a really nice square to be. And he's got a, he's got some problems I think he's got to deal with. So the other, so I like that. The other options, if he takes with this this pawn, again, he's just blunting this bishop even more so. Um, because, at least right now, he's only got one pawn on this diagonal. But if he takes here, he'll have two pawns on the diagonal. And I'll just move the... Uh, I'll move the bishop. So either way, I think I'm fine. I wanted to move it. If he takes with this pawn over right here, if he takes with this pawn, I don't know, then that's what he does. So now look at how blunted this bishop is. Really bad. And um, I guess I need to move this somewhere. I'm just trying to, trying to see here. I mean, this queen has some flexibility. This this. This, I think I'm better here. I mean, that's the bottom line. I'm going to try to... Oh, I wanted to move here. I guess I have to move to E7 to move up here. I, th I was thinking about, like, trying to to come in for an attack, but I don't know if it's working. I'd have to sacrifice this bishop. This pawn is where is is the weakness. Like originally, if okay, if he was going to take here, I was going to move my bishop here and point to the pawn. Now I'm thinking of bringing my queen. I want to bring my queen up here. So we got to calculate takes, because that's the that's the, the the risk. 
and then we have this check and there's nothing he can block with um so you have to move his king right and there i have this knight and can't i win the queen Fish, okay, let's just calculate this. Takes, check. Nothing can block. He has to move, and then this knight can win the queen. No. The rook can take. The rook can take. So the rook not only could take, the rook would take, and then the queen takes. So I've sacrificed a piece, and I've also lost a second piece for the rook and for an attack. Um, I could not put that check in and just take the knight here instead and get the knight back. Then I've just gotten the knight back. So basically, queen, g5, pawn takes. Um, queen up here, check, and I'm liking that. And then I can... Queen can take here, or knight can take here. Either one, I guess. Maybe queen takes better. Queen takes on d2. Queen takes on d2. Knight takes on d2, attacking the rook here. And my pawns are nice. His pawns, he's going to have this this, this this, guy down here. He'll probably take. Rook could have come over and probably mop that up. It's pretty ugly. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. You know, there's only so far I can look ahead. I'm, the one thing I know is I think I get my material back or better. So queen g5 takes check. If he doesn't take, then I have to consider that. Like, what if the knight comes here instead? In fact, that's probably what he'll play. I always just, you know, consider sacrificing the piece, but what if he doesn't take? What if I play that move? Because I think I'm ready to play that move. But I think at minimum I, I get my piece back and I'm equal. But I have to consider what if he doesn't take? What if he plays like knight out here? Uh, I can still take this pawn with check. So it doesn't really do anything, does it? It just takes his knight out of the picture, though. And that's the knight that I'm eventually grabbing. So I think this is a necessary calculation. If the knight comes out here, do I take, if the knight, okay, so queen, g5, check, knight here, queen takes here, check, am I winning the knight? I think I am. No, because the rook is there. Jeez. So queen, g5, knight here, then come in for the check, queen takes e3, check, uh, again, the king has to move. And from there, the king will be here, the knight will be here, my queen will be here. Um, and my bishop will still be attacked. Well, I've, I've picked up a pawn, I've put him in check, and I have to move my bishop. And after I move my bishop, I think I'm down a piece. Am I not? That's a long calculation not to go for this, but... If I move my bishop then, say, to e7 at that point in time, am I down or not? i got to calculate that all over again. I'm so bad. Queen, ch queen. Oh, no, because he never took it. That's the key. I'm stupid. He never would have taken the bishop. He didn't accept the sacrifice. So even in that case, I'm still fine. And I have a good attack. And i got my queen in a strong position. So that actually is fine. I, for, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I don't take a piece, so I'm still down a piece. But no, because I never, he never takes the piece. That's a scenario where he doesn't take the piece. I need to get on with it. So let's do it. Let's do it. I got four minutes left. I just wasted all that time calculating this and figuring out if this works. So the, the two moves that I've considered were this and this. Either way, I'm taking this pawn. If he does something else, I just have to go from there, figure it out. I wasted a lot of time there, right there. Because I feel like, yeah, he's considering now, do I take here? If he does, I take here, queen moves, and then I have a check if I want, or I can take this knight. I think I decided taking the knight is probably best. If I throw the check in uh, to pick up the queen, well, he'll take... Uh, 
<laughs> wow, that one I didn't consider. That's pretty good. Not bad. I think I can just take with the queen there. I think I come in here with this check. King moves. I take him this way. But then he's going to take here. He's already taken a piece. So I can, or I can just take this one back. But that opens this rook. Take here. Take there. Um, but I don't have time to, to really think about it. But I have to because I didn't, I didn't consider that one. But I think if I start with this check and he moves. And I take down here. Then he takes my bishop. That maybe is not good. Hmm. So I think I need to recapture that. And just, yeah, just recapture that and just pretend everything's fine now. Okay, I got in my, okay, piece for piece and this sacrifice is still, this situation still there. But I don't have that knight anymore, so that might, but still, this check comes in. If he takes and this check comes in and the king moves, uh, I can, t well... Okay, he goes with that. He's not going for it. He is not going for it. I think I'm going to have throw this check in now. This is a time issue. And now this knight, this bishop is still attacked. Can take here. But now he's got lots on that, so maybe not. Um, he take with the rook, and then I got problems. I think I just move this now. But then he'll take there and isolate my pawn a little bit. He's he's, he's doing a good job by surprising me with some moves here. I don't really know. You, know, you can't calculate everything. You think you got figure out what he's gonna do and everything, you know, but you don't takes. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving this bishop, but he takes and I take with the pawn. Do I want that? I think it's okay though. I got a pass pawn pretty much. Then his rook is coming over. There's gonna be some action there. Hmm. But at the, at the, at the end of the day, this is just too confusing. I can't lose my piece, so I'm gonna move the piece. I could take with the queen. What am I thinking? Even if he, it could take here with the queen if I didn't want to take with the pawn. Why did I assume I have to take with the pawn? Yeah. Well, maybe that's why. I'm going to have to move here. Takes, takes, takes. Nope. Not working. Obvious move, I think, is queen f4. Get out of the way. I think. Anything better here? I have to move it, right? I don't have any. I don't have anything else. I'm out of tricks here. I only got two minutes forty-seven seconds. I think I wasted too much time in this in this game, going for an attack. He keeps on finding moves that are not what I'm considering. Yep, I guess I gotta take back. So this pawn looks good. I think what will he play? I don't think he's gonna play that, but he might. G G three just to mess with the got mess with the queen. Now if this check then it forces a queen trade pretty much if I want it. Um. This pawn is going to become weak if he wants to gang up on it. I do have f5, but he could take this way. And I, I don't want to activate this bishop, though. I like these pawns here taking care of that guy. So he plays that move instead. Uh, I was thinking... Yeah, he is ganging up on the pawn, like I said, and that's what I was thinking of f5, which takes care of it temporarily, but then he takes here, but then I take with the rook, maybe something going on there. But, I, like I said, this bishop, so I don't want to, him to get any kind of momentum. Come up here, bishop, attack the, the knight, I mean the rook, but then 
this this capture is coming in pretty much no matter what I do. I wonder if I'm <coughs> losing now. F five takes. This queen's kicking that pawn no matter what I do, I think. I think this is okay, so I think I need to leave this like this. Or maybe just do something else. And let that capture happen. <sighs> Let's just do something else. If that capture happens, that capture happens. The queens come off the board. I'm just getting my pawns ready to roll. Yep, yeah. he just, he didn't, this motherfucker doesn't have his hesitate. He just freaking goes for it. All right. So at least I kept these pawns how they were. This move, I, I, I don't really know. I just thought maybe I could do something. But if I wanted this bishop to stay the way it was, I can't. Uh, we're going to have to start moving a little quicker. Maybe I need to stop worrying about that. I need to. I need to bust through here. This pawn is still here. I don't have to do. This pawn is here, kind of blunted. I don't think that this bishop's going to be doing much on this diagonal. So think that my bishop would be much better here. And this guy doesn't like to hesitate. Oh, he wants to trade. That's a bit surprising. Maybe not. Maybe it shouldn't be too surprising. Probably rook over here. If I trade, I, I don't want an isolated pawn. But if I take here, rook takes. He's got an isolated pawn of his own. But I was just thinking, just play this move instead. Um... Maybe rook over here. Looks pretty good. Now I got two attackers. He's going to bring his rook over, I assume. Or he's going to do that. Okay, what's he trying to line up his rooks here? I'm going to get to, uh, I like having that increment because it's giving me some time here. Even though I only got two minutes, how are we doing here? I think that I'm slightly better here. This is kind of a draw game, but with this pawn here, I could find a way to t target it. That might be good for me. Maybe I need to get worry about my, get my king centralized as well. I want to line these rooks up, but obviously I can't hear. I can't hear. I have to come down here. So let's let's do that. Let's line these rooks up. Maybe he'll line his rooks up, but he's pointed towards a rock here as well. I got the open file. So once I get my rook over here on d7, should be freaking pretty easy to hold this. I don't think he's got much going on. But he has this three pawn majority, but again, if he's babysitting this pawn the whole time. I don't think I have to worry. So my idea here is rook d7. I got a minute 45, so very, very easy to blunder here. But 25 moves in. We got a exact, the exact same material. Okay, the king is coming out. Again, I'm just going to do this anyway. I don't have much time. I don't want to try to draw, but being down on time like this. Check here. Rook takes check. And then my rook is out. Still dominating this line, this open file. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's a good idea or not, though. He has to take. It forces him to take. Then the rook takes with check. 
King comes out and I don't want to give up this file. Let's just hold the position here for a minute. Play the king over. Uh, I still have this move. No, I don't now because of the king there. So let's just try to get the king a little bit moving in the right direction. Uh, guys that move fast is kind of intimidating. Hmm. What a move there. I'm not very good at end game, if you haven't noticed. Um, I don't know how to really co go after him, but take Rook would take. Obviously, he's just trying to create some some tension here. Interesting. Way he can't take, he'll push it though. I mean, right? Are we at about 100% degree that he's going to push it? No, he does not. So I thought he was going to play c6 and just push the pawn, but he plays that instead. Uh, can take here, or I can just play rook, rook here. He still can't take. Why well, didn't rook d7? Is there something wrong with that? Or I can come up here even, attack the other pawn because he's now abandoned that pawn. This feels strong. I assume if I do that, he will take and try to promote. If I play this move, he will take here. Am I okay? I mean, this is with check, though. 26 seconds. I think I'm okay, because I can take capture back with the A pawn. Matter of fact, I can take here first. If he moves down here, I can take here, then capture back. I got four on two over here. I got two over here on one. Mm. As long as I have this, this rook here on this pawn, he has a hard time getting through. This guy's always got something lined up, doesn't he? Um, from here, what do I do? He's going to try to do I start moving my pawns, or do I just have to worry about his? If I play, maybe play something like this. Preparing that check. Or do I start rolling with my pawns? Every time I play passive, I lose, so... Tough decision here. If he plays that, I move back, obviously. Hmm. I think I fucked up. I'm going to throw that check in.
How's my time looking? 149, not bad. Not good, but not bad. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that seem bad for him? He's, he's abandoning his pawn. Is that okay for me? Because now I can just come grab this guy. But obviously, I think that's okay for me because, yeah, we'll see what he does. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. So if he takes here, I take play this move. Yeah, I can take this one. And that takes care of that side. And now all my pawns are kind of okay. Start trying to move my king up. A uh, tough one here. Like, do I try to trade or not? Is the question. I'm trying to calculate if I take biggest move he takes. I take. I think I'm. I think I'm hanging on. I think I'm winning. I think. I also have this check. King can move down here. Check again. King. Uh, he's got to hang on to this pawn as best he can. This check looks pretty good too. I don't know if I'm just winning here. How to convert this is the question. Rook here. My two options are rook check. Try to trade. Keep pushing. King up here. Push the pawn some more. He's obviously going to throw in this this check. You know, C check, make check. Takes, takes. Hmm. Okay, let's start with this. From here, he's got 19 minutes. Yeah, so predictable. So predictable, man. Takes, takes, king takes. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He's coming down to the bottom trying to check me from the back. Or he's going to do that. Okay, from here, King can come out front. That's too many pawns for him to babysit if I take here. Yeah, he did not go for that. Um, he wants to throw this check in. Oh, this guy, man, he's not going to give up. I got to I got to figure out how to convert this. This pawn could be a problem if I let this pawn get away from me. I don't even know if I'm winning here. In games are so um you got to be so careful like not to not to blow it. I'm starting to think about this pawn. Like if I was to play this move and takes takes, all of a sudden this pawn is looking like he's got a nice little pathway home. Um, so, so if I play that and he pushes, same kind of deal. If five takes takes, this pawn becomes an issue. The king is pretty centralized, but yeah. I don't know if king f5 seems going backwards. It doesn't seem good. Hmm. There's different positions in these end games, but... Hmm. What do I want to do? I, I don't know quite what to do. Be honest. Mm. 
Now I can play this move, maybe takes check. Uh, I don't think that he'll take it. He'll take a draw. I don't know if that's good or not. I wish I knew, but it looks like if he takes, I can take with the with the rook. That's the whole key here. If he pushes, which he probably will do, at least this pawn is there stopping this guy. Okay, he goes for that. That's a little surprising. I thought he was going to take it. This guy's really... So takes, takes. Check. This this pawn, I think this pawn may be my pride and joy. Let's move this king here. I can at least move the pawn forward if he checks. Then he'll go to the bottom again and try to screw with me down here at the bottom. Yeah, if I do this, he's going down. He's going down here. That's the that's the problem. If I play rook blocks, he probably won't take. He probably still go down there. But I like the fact I can move my pawn forward a little bit. But then the rook is coming down here. It's not a checkmate though. I mean, he doesn't have enough. So I think it's still okay. For some reason, I, I just I just hesitate to play this move. Rook here offers the trade. Rook's coming down here to a8, and I have this check. Okay, let's do that. At least it's I I just I just for for some reason concerned about that. I can even come over here try to checkmate him up here. I don't think he's going to capture. May have to get a may a draw is the best I can do. I don't know. I'm trying to win it, but I don't want to lose it in trying so hard. This guy's got a ton of time. Cassian. Okay, I'm a bit surprised he did not go for it. What about this? I don't think that takes takes takes. Nope, not winning. Takes. Starting to think like there's something here, like moving the rook over so I can check the king. Sixty moves in, trying not to draw or lose. If he takes here question is do I take with a pawn and again this pawn I have to be careful about he's got a long way to go but that's why I'm thinking take with the king take with the pawn obviously I'm closer to promoting actually if I take with the king it's probably really good but now I have this check I have this check I don't know, man. Check. Let's take it. If I draw, I draw, man. I can't. End games are tough. A lot of studying to do. This is cool. He can't. Uh, think I'm. Am I getting somewhere? It's gonna play right here. He's going to play here. Try to mop up this pawn. I have this check. I have to consider if he plays rook c3. I have this check. And that takes him away from the pawn. 
Well, actually, if no, because the rook comes down here. Check. He moves away for the pawn. And then I can move my pawn forward again. If I just force him to set, okay, he went with that. Well, this is the move I like. I know he's gonna, he wants to throw this check in, though. Desperately. Pretty sure I got places to go. Take here. Check. I'm coming up here. It's it's looking pretty bad for him. The check is coming. F8 check. Now the rook is going E8. No. Wait a minute. I can't play this. I can play this. Or I can play this. E2 check. King comes back here. Or I can play rook right here. Attacks the other rook. Rook takes. Pawn takes. Is that... No, I don't want to stale... I don't want to stalemate him. I don't think it's stalemate. I have a hard time here. It's probably... It's probably so obvious to so many players but he has to take that's the, the thing this is forcing he has to take and now the king has to move king up here I think I got it I think I'm pretty sure I got it. I got two freaking pawns long as I don't stalemate him I got this and you've resigned okay wow I wonder if how many times I blew that in the end game I, I got it at the end but man took everything it took everything. But this is one that I felt I had the advantage for the majority of the game with that bird opening. Uh, looks like I blew it a couple times early. I started building an advantage here and something went wrong. I'm going to run through this. Oh gosh, I had something and I blew it. Darn it! Let's go back and let's find out what happened here. I'll run through this pretty quick. Bird opening Dutch variation. This is fine. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I, knight c6, I guess is okay. I'm supposed to play a bishop out there. I, I decided to play f5, bishop f5. That's inaccuracy, but not that big a deal. Finchetto, okay, e6 is good. e3, uh, it says suggest h6. When I played uh, knight f6, inaccuracy. I thought it was just a pretty... Standard idea to develop my rook, my knights, but okay. Bishop e2 is inaccurate. Uh, bishop e7 is fine. Castle, castle, d3, um, bishop c5, and d4. I was happy about that. I moved back. And what happened here? Uh, just simple little knight bd2. Um, apparently, I have something here. I have a massive uh, move. Which, which I did not make. Instead, I played... it. Oh, I played knight. I did move my knight forward. I, I remember that. Trying to think think that he would uh, he would trade, but he did not trade. I should have played not knight e4, but knight g4. Why? Here's the line. Ah, oh, because you're going for this fork. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, you're going for this fork. After he moves forward... You can jump in there. Queen's got to move. And you can take here. Rook would have probably moved. I probably would have had something even better than this line. But, yeah. Okay. I didn't see that. So I played this move instead. And then he followed with his own knight move. So I took, thinking if he takes here with this pawn, which he did, and I'm fine. And I find this queen. This is probably the move of the game here. Queen g5 that I took like 10 minutes to decide. I wanted to go forward with it, but it looks like I didn't quite finish the attack. But after that knight took, that surprised me, but I said, okay, I'll just take back. And then he plays this move, 
I did take with this check. He moved, and yes, sure enough, save the bishop. And then what did he play? It, things got so tough. Right here was the moment of truth. Like, I didn't know what to do. What did I move? I moved queen f4. Just saving the queen. It says I can take there. No? I'm supposed to take. Ah, oh, because you're attacking the queen. That's interesting. So you take. Allowing the rook to take. And then you take here. You, yeah. But then this rook takes. Hmm. Okay. Even in material, but that was an option. But, you know, your queen is attacked by a rook like that. I mean, I'm just like, I need to move. Which, try not to think that way. I try to think, do, do I have to move? But it just felt like I really did. So I moved, and that was a mistake. Because now, black is equalized again. Here I didn't know what to do. I played b6, takes, uh, takes, takes, c5. I finally decided just to forget about those those pawns blunting his bishop, and I need to get some development on my own going. Rook comes over. Played that move. The other rook comes over. I'm doing fine. Um, white's doing fine. She has black with a slight advantage. I felt that way, too. I lined up the rooks. Um, started to bring my king over. Just waiting for someone to make a mistake. And... He finally does with this move right after I played this. He played that move. I didn't expect that move. I thought he was going to push, which the computer says is the correct move. C6. That's what I was looking for, and he didn't do it. He did this instead, which opened the possibility of rook d5 because he left this pawn. But I was still concerned, like, if I play this move, he takes. Is he going to eventually promote? But I finally figured, because this is with check, at a minimum, after that capture and this capture, he, this is check. I'd have an opportunity to give the pawn back. And so after this, I take. Computer says good. He takes. And of course, I think I had to recapture here. Uh, and I do. And now he comes after me. So he's coming after me. B5. This is tough. I don't want to go through every move, but um, F5. Rook A5. What did I play here? I played the right move here. Rook C5. And A4 inaccuracy because I have this check. Did I play it? Yes. And then I believe I took B. B should have said I should have kept on checking, but I just went ahead and grabbed that pawn while I could. Um, king D6, I'm getting my king centralized. He's going after my pawns. Play G5, that's an inaccuracy. I didn't need to play that because now he's coming over here, but I decide, well, Rook A1, why not? Take, take, black with a clear advantage. And now my pawns are rolling. And he continues to try to be aggressive, and it's not the way to play. See check, make check, and every check he makes is bad. That's a horrible blunder right there. He's putting my king into a better position to move my pawns forward. But he just, you know, if you don't know what else to do, a lot of players will just check. But you got to think of the consequences of that check. Rook b2, I'm not saying I know what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm very poor in the end game. but uh, one thing I don't do is just check when I see a check. Now, here I should check. I probably didn't, did I? Oh, I did. To get some time here to start moving my pawns forward, I play king e4. Uh, there's another check. I decide to block it. That says that's a blunder. I should have played. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't do that. King, bring the king forward. I think I was just trying to, hopefully, he would trade rooks off, but he didn't. Um, so, here we are with this check again. I block it, trying to trade. That's a mistake. Uh, I guess I, I, I keep making the wrong move. When, and here's a mistake. Not surprising. Mistake. And finally, I say, well, i got to do something else. So I play f3. I didn't want to draw. Moves the rook over. King here. There's the check. No surprise. Oh, it does say I should have played e4. For some reason, I just felt awkward about it. So I played the rook. Again, blocking with the rook. I don't know why I keep wanting to block with the rook. Um... Rook b4, rook c2, and then finally, yeah, it wasn't time for that. That was a big blunder right there. I finally took there, thinking he takes, and then I could start moving forward with e4, but luckily he made that move.
and that blundered it back to back to major advantage for me after e3 and fear it's fine but if you go back here problem with that move is after he takes instead of uh i'm sorry back up a little bit instead of that move he has now a check that actually is good because after i move he can come to the back. I can start trying to promote, but he's able to just kind of harass me. Got to wait for the right time to harass. It shows this huge line here. But eventually, I guess White is able to not win or anything, but at least hold me at bay. Instead, didn't work out that way. Once I grab this, it's pretty much a wrap. There's not much he can do here. So, was that good? That was a move I was kind of concerned about, but. Yeah, I mean, that was the best move because it's forcing. Once he takes here and I take here, he's got to move out of the way and allow me to promote. So this that's why this was probably a bad move, this rook coming over. But like I said, this check right here, I mean, I guess there's nothing else he has at this point. But So white kind of helped me there. Didn't play really well. I didn't play very well, but ended up with a huge advantage. Winning the game against... Um, sorry, uploading a video there on my other channel. Winning the game against Cassian. So, good game there. Thanks for playing Cassian. Crazy Crab out. <laughs>